with Expresso here on SABC3. Now, I'm sitting outside, and you may have noticed Hadman Schroeder, who we normally see doing our, our weights and our exercises in the studio with us. But today, we are chatting about weight loss, and we're joined by Eric Way, international fashion designer as well. Welcome back to Expresso. Thanks, Liesl. Um, I'm not used to seeing you, Hadman, sit down. Normally, you're busy getting ready for your exercises. Same story, yeah. I'm, uh, it's <laughs> quite a different uh, mindset and different way, eh? Now, Eric, you went through, and, and you call it that, your, your fat stage. Yeah. where you were, were really overweight and, and you didn't know what to do and you were really frustrated. Mm. Did you start exercising during that, that stage? Did you ever want to exercise? No, Liesl, exercising um, as a fat person is a huge challenge because you, especially when you're at the point where I was, you know, 75 kilograms overweight, 150 kilograms is not a very nice place to be. And you can't imagine yourself exercising. And as I was saying to Herman, you know, you need to get your mindset right. And it's all about your imagination, how you look in the gym mm. and how you're going to feel and the uncomfortableness about it. But gyms are uncomfortable. I have to say, even I feel uncomfortable mm, in the gym. But uh, being fat and being in the gym is, you know, a huge thing. Yeah. Um, so it was difficult for me, very difficult to get to that point where I actually wanted to go into a gym and do something. And so I didn't really. Mm. And I, I mean, it's great now, you know, I've got Herman and he's working with one mm. of our contestants. So, you know, it's, it's going to be nice to see what's going to happen here. Now, Herman, pe mm. for people like Eric, Eric was, uh, the, the before Eric, the, the, the fat the, Eric, the, the, you said it, the fat <laughs> Eric, for people like that who want to lose weight, who are too scared to get to the gym, what words of encouragement would you give someone like that? You know, Google so is a wonderful thing. Uh, firstly, I would, I would suggest it, that people actually look around and in at gyms and mm. what they have I mean if there's one thing that a gym is it's intimidating yes so, I agree. Um, so so look around get a trainer even even go into a gym even when it's a private gym look at the trainers and how they're busy with people and uh, then you take one of those trainers just have coffee with them and you can feel you've got that relationship so the first thing that when you go into a gym that's a familiar face that you see yeah. And then you take it from there. I mean, because mm. they, they really need it. You need that little push. Just mm. to get the endorphins going, you know? The, yeah. Mm. Just to, that, that physical thing, just to get going. Mm. And that is what you need. So just someone, a friendly face. To yeah, it's a relationship, because that is such a big thing as mm. it is. And if you can have that great relationship with your trainer, um, it, it is, it's right. You're the familiar face, you know? Uh, listen, I train with Hadman any day. He's always so friendly when he gets here at <laughs> half past three in the morning. <laughs> jumping That's up why you look so, so good. <laughs> <laughs> he makes me do push-ups before the show, and I don't even do the fitness segment. Now, for tra when you started training, was it uncomfortable? Was it difficult mm. to do the exercises? Um, very uncomfortable. And I think, you know, for your, um, for your trainer, they need to identify with this as well. They need mm. to see that. Um, you can't at that stage be on a boot camp. I mean, for me, I think that's completely unrealistic and making people do things that they totally, you know, I, I'm sure if you were to do that, you know, you're physically exerting them yeah. and they're going to end up having heart attacks and stuff mm. like that. And so, hating it. And, yeah, and they won't come back. And I was just saying to Hadman, you know, can you get someone to come and love it rather than, you know, it's a big effort to wake up in the morning and go and train. But how do you get someone to love it? It's, it's actually, it's not a difficult thing. And that's where the trainer comes in. Because, and, and I said it last night to my wife too, it's, the trainer is there to motivate you. Mm. You're not there to motivate the trainer. <laughs> you understand? You don't, you're not there. You're actually a paying client. You're not there to listen to his nonsense. Mm. So that is, that's where you assess. And that's why it, it's an actually a very nice thing when, when somebody comes in, he sees the familiar face. And, and I've got a thing, especially in my business too, if you don't walk out with a smile, I'm going to fire myself. Mm. <laughs> so yes, it is difficult. But you know, it is, that you've got you to gotta, go to come back yeah and mm. that is what it's about mm. if you got that relationship then you're halfway there and now for people who want to start to exercise and are in that position what exercises can they just start with at home the the thing that we spoke about is and a very important thing go to the doctor first and and you know do mm. the blood pressure see your mm. how the heart rate is your resting mm. heart rate and your cholesterol of course yeah and once you have that then it's easy then your your professionals like your trainers mm. and the sports scientists can work from there from home, start with cardio. Mm. We, we said, we said, the thing is, is if you're really, really obese, it's very, very difficult. You want to do non-weight bearing exercises. Mm. So what it means is not a lot of jerking on the joints. So mm. that is a very important thing. Mm. If you've got a swimming pool, fantastic. Mm. Do a few links, and it doesn't really help if it's by three by two, but mm. you know, just do a little Any bit of little movement bit yeah. just to get the heart stronger mm. and heart beating. But you know, also, Liz, I must just add that um, you can do all forms of exercise, but if you don't eat correctly, you're not going to achieve that ultimate goal. And so it's still very important. You can't just go to the gym, gym yourself to death, and still eat incorrectly mm. because you're not going to get that ultimate body that what you want to mm. achieve. So it's very important that they still stick yeah. to a good eating plan and listen to what we're saying when it comes to that. Well, it's all about good cooking and and looking after yourself and gymming as well. So we've got the whole package there and the answers from Herman and Eric Way. Now the young ones can stand by because we're going to be cooking with them next.